show you how I personally take advantage of ChatGPT in order to create piece of software that I'm going to use in the real life. The approach I take in order to minimize the errors in the logic generated by the AI, which, as you might already know, is far from precise. I also want to be sure my logic is correct and I need to validate it. I will show you what I usually do in different contexts, especially in algorithmic trading. You will also find for free the example I produce attached in the description. So, please enjoy. I hope this will help you improving your skills and reduce your stress, so, let's get started. In this episode, we will ask ChatGPT to help us creating a Gridbot expert advisor to be used with the MetaTrader 4 platform. Before getting into the details, let's quickly understand how the strategy works. Basically what we want to achieve would be creating a grid of equally spaced pending orders given the price range to use and the number of orders to create. The EA should be capable of computing the range automatically given some specs and then divide it into a grid given the number of orders to allocate. The EA, then, will check the current price and it will create sell limit orders above it and buy limit orders below it, until the whole range has been filled. The range should be computed by getting the lows and highs of the previous week when the EA starts. When some orders will be executed, the EA should perform some checks accordingly. As soon as two orders will be executed at market, the EA should open another limit order at the price of the penultimate one. Again, it will always check the current price and it will create the type of order accordingly, sell limit if the price is above the current one, buy limit instead. Finally, in the case the number of executed orders at market is higher than two for some reason, the EA will reset everything by deleting the remaining pending orders and recreating them again according to the same range. Let's first ask ChatGPT to help us creating an indicator that computes and shows on the chart the daily trading range. What you need to understand is that ChatGPT does not make any check or validation on the code he produces and therefore you will need to inspect it for errors, both on the syntax and the logic. This is why I typically proceed by steps. Before using the code provided by the AI, I want to be fully sure that it behaves correctly. After several tries, I finally got the indicator working correctly by showing the trading range as two horizontal red lines. I had to fix the logic provided by the AI. At a first glance he confused the support and the resistance levels for some reason. This is why you need to be very careful with the code provided by ChatGPT. Eventually, in the case you are not very familiar with the programming language, you can ask ChatGPT to refine the code for you, even though this might require much more iterations. In that case my suggestion is to always provide to ChatGPT the current version of the code and ask him to fix some small pieces one by one. Make sure you describe very precisely what you want to fix or change and how. The more precise you are, the more chances you have to get the correct code.
What we need to do now, would be asking ChatGPT to help us creating a trading bot which, according to the trading range we computed previously and the current price, places the pending orders, equally spaced, above and below the ladder. Again. I am going to proceed iteratively asking ChatGPT to improve the logic step by step. I also always provide back my current updated code to ChatGPT every time I want it adding or changing something. This is quite important. Otherwise ChatGPT will assume you want to continue working on the last code he provided to you, which most probably is wrong or not fully precise. As an instance, notice that ChatGPT in this case updated wrongly the code by modifying the orders from pending sell limit and order limit once, to straight sell and by market orders. In that case, I had to explicitly ask ChatGPT to revert them into pending orders. I also asked him to make the code a bit more clean by moving the order creation logic into some dedicated functions. Now that I have the correct order creation logic, I can add the code to manage them during the trade. In particular, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to help me storing the orders tickets into an array and check at every new bar if some of the pending orders have been executed. I want then the EA updating the array accordingly. By checking the code, we can spot some errors in the logic again. In this case, on the main loop, it looks like ChatGPT does not take into account the distance between the orders, thus placing them all at the same price. After having fixed this last error, let's improve the bot logic a bit more. Now, we want ChatGPT helping us adding some more rules to the trading logic. In particular, we want to be able to reset the pending orders when a new day starts and rebuild the grid according to the updated trading range. <laughs> 